What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a very exciting Liverpool transfer news video and according to Italian newspapers, Liverpool have put in a very interesting offer for the AC Milan midfielder Frank Cassier who will be out of contract in the summer. AC Milan tried multiple times to extend his contract but he refused because he wants a lot more than what AC Milan are, are able to offer him. He wants around 10 to 11 million euros per year and he is available on a free transfer and according to the Italian outlet Anza they claim that Frank Cassie has a very interesting offer from Liverpool and he can agree a pre-contract agreement uh, from January the 1st so Liverpool are able to talk to Frank Cassie and his agents because they are not in a club in Italy and when you players have less than six months left on their contracts they are able to talk to foreign clubs and he's still only 25 years old there is a real potential for him to score a massive long-term contract with the right club. Last season he scored 13 goals in 37 games for Italy, for Serie A side Milan in the Serie A and also this season he has 5 goals in 16 games and he just scored a goal in the Ivory Coast 3-1 win against Algeria so Ivory Coast are through to the knockout stages Africa Cup of Na at the Africa Cup of Nations and Frank Cassier is regularly starting for them they won two games and drew drawn the third one in the group stages and Frank Cassier also scored two goals in his last game for AC Milan before jetting off to the Africa Cup of Nations against Empoli which AC Milan won 4-2 and AC Milan are in the title race in the Serie A they are second only to Inter Milan and they are missing Frank Cassier at the moment and he's a goal scoring midfielder because he always scores around 5 to 10 goals on average in the league in his first season he scored 5 goals in the league in his second I mean for AC Milan his second season 7th and 4th and 13th and now he has 5 goals in just half a season so he could get easily 10 goals uh, and I think Liverpool need a goal scoring midfielder like him and he's about to hit his prime if he hasn't hit his prime already and I think he's on the verge of being world class and he's such a strong brilliant midfielder who can pass the ball, he can shoot, he can tackle and he's a little bit similar to Wijnaldum in that he, can, he has a great engine to run for days and I think Liverpool are still looking to sign a, a long term replacement for Gini Wijnaldum and Frank Cassier on a free transfer is, is really a no brainer the big question is where does Frank Cassier want to go because there are talks of many many clubs uh, in contact with Frank Cassie and his agent, understandably so. He's a free agent and on, in a normal market, when he has a long contract, he would be worth at least 50 million pounds. So he actually, you can snap up a free agent player for like literally nothing when, when he's worth 50 million pounds. I think that would be a fantastic deal for Liverpool. And you can club scores spoke about the how he structures his team he said, I think because the team stayed together for a long time, we maybe lost Gini Vinadum last year, but the majority of the team stayed together and it helps us develop things. That's why when you have a cool, cool group that play together for a long while, then you can put in younger players and different players in that setup. And just to intercept here, I think Frank Cassier, because exactly like what Jurgen Klopp said, because Liverpool have a settled team, it would be much easier for him to come in and play straight away. I mean, look at how well Thiago has adapted to Liverpool's style. And Jurgen Klopp also said, like we did at the beginning of the season with Harvey Elliott, who was absolutely outstanding and massively impressive in that period. When you bring in Curtis Jones, the way he performs is because we are stable and because of his talent. And now Tyler Morton is coming in and playing games and that's possible because of how the rest around him works. And even Fabrizio Rano confirmed that both Denis Zakaria and Frank Cassier are being strongly considered because of the fact that they are out of contract in the summer so it would the, these players would pose a cheaper alternative for Liverpool and we wouldn't have to spend 50 million on a midfielder we need those funds to sign a forward players to sign an attacker somebody like Frederico Chiesa or Rafinha or somebody of that ilk who is young who is hungry and who can score goals get assists and be a brilliant understudy to Salah, Mane and Firmino just like Diogo Jota did when he came in and since he has been at Liverpool he has been on fire and let's hope Liverpool can find another Diogo Jota type of signing and we need to save money where we can because we don't have 
the funds to sign a 50 million pound midfielder, a 50 million pound forward and maybe even a 50 million pound uh, defender. So Liverpool have to be very smart in their recruitment. And Fabrizio Romano said that it, for, for Frank Cassier it's going to be uh, complicated because of what he's asking for the salary. I, AC Milan offered him 6.5 million euros net per season as a salary and he said no, he wants around 8 to 9 million net per season. So what I said in the beginning of the video, of course that was the gross salary of 11-12 million, so that's 8 or 9 million net per season. I guess if he's going to leave AC Milan as a free agent, he wants more than 8 million euros per season. It's a lot of money. I think Liverpool want to go in a different way for salaries too. And I think they are taking a good decision on this. Sometimes with salary, football is getting crazy and clubs are having problems. See what happened with Barcelona and many other clubs. So that's the take of Fabrizio Romano. If uh, Cressier gets greedy and if he asks for too big of salary and if it doesn't fit into the wage budget, the wage structure of Liverpool, the Liverpool will just simply walk away and not sign Frank Cassier, even though I think they really should because um, like saving 1 million per year euros on his net salary it's a lot less than paying 40 million pounds for a midfielder because then after that transfer fee you have to pay his wages as well so I think it's uh, these links to Frank Cassie are pretty relentless and it's clear why Liverpool are in need of a young dynamic goal scoring midfielder and he's also uh, cheap uh, compared to other alternatives uh, let's say Liverpool decides to sign Florian Neuhaus of Borussia Mönchengladbach that guy would cost 40 million plus his wages yes maybe his wages are a little bit cheaper than Frank Cassie's wages but I still think that uh, that Liverpool will find it hard to resist uh, signing Frank Cassier because of uh, him being out of contract. And Virgil van Dijk previewed the Crystal Palace Liverpool game. Sa he said it's always a tough place to go there. It's never been easy with the fans behind them. It's a small ground. It's intense and a tough place to go. I don't expect anything less than that on Sunday. Obviously, we want to create momentum. We want to keep going, getting results because that's the most important thing at the end of the day. It's going to be a tough task but we should all be looking forward to it as well because it's another step hopefully closer to what we want to achieve. If you look above us, obviously Man City have been incredible, they are a fantastic team, they have been doing so well. It's going to be a tough task for us to catch them, but the only thing we can do is focus on each game ahead of us. There is no point in this phase of the season to look too much at others. We have full focus on ourselves and that's what we will do. And the fans still need to believe because anything can happen. We just have to give it a very good go with everything that we have. And there will be moments in games where we have a lot of difficulties, what is absolutely normal. But then we also need the fans' support and I'm not worried about that either. And Virgil van Eyck also talked about all the centre-halves who are in fine form. It's very good for Liverpool and it's very good for everyone who is involved with Liverpool because we have competition for places. Everyone is working hard to make sure that we are 100% ready for every single game. And obviously there are things, there are times when things could be better, but we all give everything that we have. And that's the most important thing. Quality is definitely here as well. And the way that Joan Matip goes on these mazy runs, sooner or later he should score, he must score a goal like that. If you look at the way we play, you need to mix things up. He, Matip has got a lot of qualities that I don't have and the other way around, I, I've got a lot of qualities that he doesn't have. For Jim said, the way he steps in is very helpful when it's difficult to break teams down and give a different dimension on how to break teams down. Obviously sometimes it works and the other times maybe not so much, but that's why you try to mix it up. We have a fantastic team full of quality, full of different assets that we can use to win games and it's very important to use that as well. Let's hope Liverpool can come up uh, with a win against Crystal Palace. I think it's absolutely crucial to get another win under our belt because after the Crystal Palace game, the next Premier League game we will have Mane and Salah and Naby Keita back with us as well and I've, I'm pretty convinced that it will not be another 7-0 victory in fact I don't think it will be an easy win for Liverpool even though Crystal Palace are also missing players 
Liverpool are missing more players and we need to get a victory even though it will be a very very tough game because Crystal Palace are actually playing a lot better under Patrick Vieira than they did under Roy Hodgson. Hodgson I don't rate him as a manager and Vieira is a very very good coach who set up Crystal Palace quite well. They are a very very good mid-table team. So I think Liverpool have to be on alert to, and, and we have to perform at our maximum ability to come away with the three points. So come on Liverpool, let's beat Crystal Palace tomorrow. And I will try to get you guys another Liverpool Carrier Mode video tomorrow as well. Thanks for watching, hope you have a nice Saturday. See you later guys, goodbye.